Hey guys, it's Whitney and today I am doing this look for you. Um, I use several things that are different. I use several things that are new. Um, this um, eyeliner, for example, is limited edition, so it will more than likely sell out. Um, and I also, for the first time ever, mix shadow scents with lip scents to get this color, but how like really, can we talk about how incredible this color is? Um, I know a lot of you are gonna ask me about the wear of this. I think the best wear you get is when you use straight lip scents and you apply it to clean, dry lips um, and you don't mix it with anything or do anything like that. Um, and you apply three layers and you reapply gloss to, correct, um, to protect your color. But um, this still, as you can see, uh, is pretty daggone good. So it does feel a little bit drier than Lip Sense, which makes sense since Shadow Sense is cream to powder. But if you wanna see how I got this whole look, just keep watching. Hey guys, so I have already put my concealer on. Um, I know stuff looks a little uneven, but I've just done concealer, not foundation. One of the things I've really been loving doing lately is, really been loving doing lately. That didn't sound right really been loving to do lately. That's some, um, let's, let's say it like that. That sounds a little bit better. So I like using deep concealer as a contour. And what I do is I do this after my concealer, but before my foundation, and I just put a little deep concealer on my hand. And then I use that to contour with, obviously. So I like to use this brush and I just grab a little product and put on it kind of place that in the general area I'm going to be contouring and it's okay if it's not perfect but because you're going to put foundation on top of it but I've actually really been loving this to contour with lately so even if Deep concealer is not the right shade for you. You may want to try it out as a contour. So that is one of the things I've been doing lately. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation on top of this so you guys can see what it ends up looking like once you have the foundation on because it is really subtle. I use one pump of Dewy Make Sense foundation. Just take that it on and distribute it out. I like to use this Tarte Kabuki brush. I start with the stippling motion. And then blend that out. So another thing I've really been loving lately is um, our new pink berry blush scents and yes I will use this later in the video too but right now I am going to use it to let me find it I honestly never found my pink berry blush scents so I just I'm going to open up a new one so as a base to my shadow scents, I'm going to use the color Whisper Pink. And I am just going to grab this brush. I like it because I can do my brows with one side. And I usually use Whisper Pink to highlight on my brows. But today it's going to be my base color on my eyes. And I got a lot of product on my brush because I have taken the stopper out of this Whisper Pink. 
as it was getting to where it was hard to get product out. So when my shadow scent starts to get low, that's a good thing to do. If you want me to make a video showing how to do that, just comment below and let me know. I would be happy to do one for you guys. So basically you end up with a bright whisper pink base on your lid. Um, I just think that color applies better when you have a shadow sense base on your eyes. Um, I'm going to be using the blush scents for the color, but I like having a base of shadow sense on my, on my eyes. So, if I can open up the new Pinkberry blush scents. Oh man, I forgot how hard these are to open. They're serious. Oh, so many problems today, you guys. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I honestly used my teeth to open it. It's okay. Okay, so Pinkberry Blush Scents is really, really super concentrated. Um, I know that not everybody likes pink on the eyes, but I personally do. So I'm going to use Pinkberry Blush Scents as the color on my eyes today. Then once I get that placed how I want it, <clears throat> I'm going to use a fluffier brush that is clean to blend out and soften up the edges some. Like so. So I want my lid and my inner corner to be shimmery. So I am going to put I think Opal Shimmer Shadow Sense there. Just all in this area. And I'm just going to tap that on. So it looks a little bit more metallic. If you use a brush to blend these out, they look softer. If you use your fingers, um, you'll get more shimmer, more of a shimmer look. So that's what you end up with your on your eyes before eyeliner. So I have been wearing um, big wings a lot lately, um, and it's all because we have these shimmer shadow senses. Um, we have ocean. We have Starry Sky, which is a black with silver, and then we have Gilded, which is a kind of bronze color with gold glitter. I personally really like the ocean, and since my eyes are kind of bright anyway, that's what I'm going to use to line. I will fast forward this next part so that it doesn't take forever to apply eyeliner. While that first layer of eyeliner is drying, um, I should mention that these eyeliners don't have um, an alcohol base, so they take a little bit longer to dry. So while that first layer is drying, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. Lately, since my hair color is so bright right now, I've been mixing with blush scents to do my brows. Today, since I've been using Pinkberry blush scents um, to mix to get my brow color, 
today I think I'm going to use cherry mixed with garnet to get my brow color. So now I'm just going to do a really light second coat of eyeliner just to make the blue really, really bright. I'm going to try to keep my eyes kind of shut so that can dry again. Um, so I'm going to do my blush now. Um, I actually am going to use Pinkberry Blush Scents and I'm going to mix it with Amethyst Shadow Scents. So I just take a little Pinkberry Blush Scents on my hand, trying to remember to keep my eyes closed, or at least look down. I'm using these two colors together right here. I'm just going to blend those with my finger. I know that the blush looks super purpley on my hand, but when I put it on my cheeks, it blends out to a really, really pretty color. So I'm just going to use my blush brush and blend that out. Okay, so that's my blush. Okay, so with this look, I want a really matte um, kind of lilac lip. So I'm going to do something that I hadn't done until yesterday. Huh. I just found my other Pinkberry blush scents. What do you know? But um, I'm going to do something that I hadn't done until yesterday, but I did it yesterday and I loved it. So first I'm going to put a layer of Goddess on my lips and then I'm going to mix Goddess with Amethyst Lip Scents and finish. I think it helps to do a layer of just lip scents first. To have that base layer that really adheres to your lips. And I'm still trying to keep my eyes shut. Okay, so while that's drying, let's go ahead and pour out some of this Goddess Lip Scents. I'm just pouring it out on a paper baggie, a paper baggie, not paper, plastic. So I pour it out, some Goddess Lip Scents, and then I'm going to take a lot of Amethyst Shadow Scents. Not a lot. Let's say, like if you take that applicator and swirl it all around, I'm gonna do three swirls like that. 
Okay. And then I am just going to take a applicator and blend those two colors together. I'm going to mix them really, really, really good. So since I'm mixing this with a matte shadow sense, the formula is going to be super matte and it's going to be a little more opaque. You want to give this plenty of time to dry when you apply. So I want to let that get super duper dry before I apply gloss and I'm going to use matte gloss since it is super matte already. Isn't it a cool color though? Such a cool color. But I'm going to apply mascara off camera and I will be right back. Okay, so <clears throat> while I did my mascara, I let the Goddess Shadow Sense, Amethyst Shadow Sense mixture that I have on my lips dry. Um, so now I'm going to apply gloss on top of that. Um, since it is matte, I'm going to go ahead and use matte gloss. I know that a lot of people like really, really matte flat lips and this gives you that look. And if you didn't want this to be matte, you could top it with any of any Cinegents gloss. So you could use Orchid if you wanted to play up the pink. If you wanted to add some glitter, you could use silver glitter or pink glitter. Um, you're not stuck with just matte gloss. I'm just doing matte to amplify the matte look. So <clears throat> I'm going to finish out this look by doing my under eye concealer. So what I do is I use... A little bit of candlelight on the outside and that will also help me clean up my shadow sense and then on the inside I use whisper pink Hmm. I'm thinking now and I'm like, do I still want to use whisper pink because I do have it as a base on my eyes today, but I think it'll be fine. So I'm just going to do a dot and then I will blend that out with my concealer brush. Why do I have to open my mouth to blend that? I don't know, but I do. Okay. So 
So once that's done, I'm all ready for powder. So on top of my blush, I like to use silver rose powder. So I just stippled that on in that area. And then for my whole face, I use the natural translucent powder. So, and I don't love the brush that's on these, but I love the powder. So what I do is I apply them and then I go over them with a softer brush to really kind of press them in and blend them out. 